it's Sam. So I just went to Target yesterday. I had to pick up some good old cleaning supplies. And I picked up a few things from the drugstore that are new as far as makeup goes. I have not been to the drugstore for so long as far as like in the beauty department. Actually, I just haven't been in general for a really long time. So I saw these things and I was like, oh, fun, I'm going to try these. So I actually have already filmed a few of the reviews of these products. So you guys can keep your eyes out for that. Um, the very first thing is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. These are $8.99 at Target. Um, that is what they look like. I do like the tube. I think the packaging is nice. But you guys can watch my full review of that. That will be coming out very soon to see my thoughts on it. The next thing I picked up were these um, Lumi, they're Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealers. I got two shades. One is a more of a brightening, which is called Radiant. And then one is the actual concealer, which is called Ivory. And I do have those on today. Um, and so far, I think they're actually quite nice. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep on playing with them with another foundation that I'm used to. But I will definitely let you guys know. I'll keep you guys updated about these. These were $6.49, so a very good price. I feel like the, uh, the Maybelline, Maybelline tends to keep their prices pretty down, which is good. I also, I also picked up the Maybelline Dream Blender. Uh, again, I will be reviewing this in my uh, foundation review with the Dream Velvet, so I won't go into any details there. I don't know how much that was. I think it was like $5, something like that. Uh, the next thing I also, this is not technically from the drugstore, but I repurchased this from lifeandlooks.com. It's like a, I think it's in Ireland, but you guys know that I love this, the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. It's my favorite. And I have been too chicken. I don't know why. It's the only concealer, but I love this UK version so much that I'm like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend my money on the US version. Someone has asked me to compare, so I should do that. I mean, that's my job, but I do love this stuff, and so I picked it up. Um, it, the shipping was really, really quick. I bought two. Um, it ended up being a little bit more expensive because I had to pay for shipping, but it, this stuff is worth it. It is so good. I also bought the Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo by iStudio. This is for naturally full brows. I haven't actually used it yet, but it's a dual-ended brush, so one is like thin and then one is like a little fuller. The color I got is 255 Soft Brown, so that's what it looks like. This, I believe, was $6.99. The prices were actually pretty good. I got two lip glosses from Maybelline. These are the um, Vivid Matte Liquid by Color Sensational. Uh, and these were $6.99. Um, let's take a look. I haven't even played with these yet. So they're a nice kind of small formula. The wand is really, really long. That's interesting. Whoa, Nilly, that is like thick. It's a really thick formula. It's almost moussey, like, kind of like a velvety kind of mousse. Um, so that color is called 15 Pink Charge. It's a lot pinker than I thought. I, I mean, I suppose it looks exactly the same. And the next color is this one, and this is called 10 Nude Flush. And it's just kind of like a nice uh, nude mauve color. Yeah, that's a really pretty color. They're very thick and kind of mousse feeling. I wasn't expecting that texture. So there's the two swatches of the colors. Um, I'm definitely going to have to try those out and let you guys know what they feel like on the skin. But those are the colors. They're really pretty. I feel like this is a really great color for summer and this is really great for, I mean, any time really. But I do actually like the packaging of these. I think they're kind of nice. I like the fact that you can see the full color. It's kind of just a nice simple design um, and the price point was good. And then the last thing I picked up was, I didn't really get that much, did I? I thought I got more. Um, was the Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara. This is what it looks like. I do have a review coming up very soon of this as well. And this one was $5.99. So everything that I picked up was actually pretty affordable. So those are the things that I picked up from Target. Um, definitely keep an eye out for the reviews of the foundation. I will be reviewing those. Um, probably reviewing the concealers as well and I already filmed my review of this mascara. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did, if you like hauls, I do, I think they're fun. Um, also, I just filmed the MAC Ariana Grande uh, swatches of this. This is the new MAC color and it's gorgeous if you're wondering what is on my lips. I don't have my Invisalign in for this reason because I'm wearing a very dark lip and I have a feeling it's gonna get all over my Invisalign. So, 
I'm filming with nothing in today and my teeth look so white with this lipstick. But thank you guys. I really, really appreciate um, all of your guys' support and your thumbs up and sharing. If you guys do enjoy my videos, please don't forget to share if you find them helpful. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.